back and I am Erin with Almond Obate. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just wanted to give a quick demonstration, quick, of what a past, present, future video would look like if you were to order the past, present, future tarot reading. So we're going to get started. I drew these cards at a time when I have been feeling a little bit off about starting an Etsy shop as well as my um, Almond Ovate website for photography and vid videography for my friends in the Midwest. Um, check me out. <laughs> I have 20 years of experience doing that so I got it under control. I'm here for you. <laughs> anyway, I drew the Ten of Pentacles or ten, two, hmm. I drew the Two of Pentacles or Two of Discs the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. So Pentacles suggest material success, work, career. Um, pentacles are associated with Earth typically, and Cups are associated with water, and um, usually emotions and the subconscious. So we are going to dive right in with the Two of Pentacles, which is the Lord of Change. Some things to note about the Lord of Change are the, I'm just going to hold up similar decks while we talk here, December 21st to December 30th, including Yule, are the dates that are ruled by the Capricorn Deccan of the Two of Pentacles. So the main element is cardinal earth from a zodiac perspective and the decan is 0 to 9 degrees Capricorn which is Capricorn 1 and it's the decan ruled by Jupiter. Those are some examples of the two of discs. <laughs> So those are some things to note. Now the other thing that's important to note is that the Sephirot is Chakma, the Sephirot is Chakma and Asaya. And Chakma means wisdom. And Asaya is where the spark can create or destroy. Meaning that there is an ever-shifting nature involved in this card. It's a progressive evolution, evolutional cycles, skill, divine and material, opposites working in tandem through time. It's kind of the idea of the meaning behind the Lord of Change, Two of Pentacles or Two of Discs. So I've made some notes here and I'm just going to, you know, peek at them really quick. Ah, see, this is why we peek at our notes. Another important thing to note is twos are usually creative energy and the, the seed of creative energy, that spark, is where the twos are with <clears throat> whether it's pentacles or wands, staves, um, pentacles, discs, swords, or cups. There's there's always this creative spark creating a condition of, of next steps. I have been, this is my past card, so the past week I have been feeling pretty down about taking a leap into entrepreneurship. But um, if I mind my spark, and I, and I allow it to create and be for the positive, then all good things will be gained by patience and directing that intellect that um, is found in the Two of Pentacles. Really quickly, um, twos are, of course, usually twos relate back to adjustment, which is Libra, balance. Um, it is an error, so that's why when we talk about air we are also actually talking about intellect swords so it is it is a directing of my intellect for material gain that that's where that comes from just want to touch on that real quick okay I would go a lot deeper into the symbolism and we would take a look like a really close look <laughs> at the card using this handy dandy magnifier that magnifies newsprint and we would we would deep dive into it in your video but this is just an example video. So we're moving on, moving on to the Three of Cups. Now the Three of Cups is the Lord of Abundance. The Lord of Abundance 
The dates run July 2nd through July 11th, which is that Cancer um, astrology. And it is the 10 degree to 19 degree Cancer, Cancer 2, that it can rule by Mercury. And Cancer, the sign, is ruled by the Moon and exalted in Jupiter at this time. The element water is cardinal. <laughs> the element is cardinal water. Um, some important things to note about the Three of Cups is as far as the Tree of Life, the Sephirah is concerned, it is Bina and Bria. So that means, first of all, threes, threes are power through word to cultivate whatever you're looking for and things are starting to shape and become. We've moved out of that two phase where it's just an idea and three, three it's starting to be made. So you're giving power through, through words to communicate what you're doing. I feel like since this is my present card, that's very exciting because I do have things to the point where I feel like I'm set up. Like my website's how I want it. The Etsy shop is tarot reading. Like I've separated out my two services with Al and Ovate to where it's nice and organized. But I've got to create and build and continue and keep going. Got to keep my spirits up. See, that's the Bria. The Bina is the, the create manifest. And I need to keep my spirits up while I'm seeking my creative success. All right, so that's the Three of Cups. Now, the Nine of Pentacles. I have the Nine of Pentacles here. That is in Virgo. So Virgo is the sign ruled by Mercury and Mercury is actually exalted in it as well. The dates are September 2nd to September 11th and it is the, I think I believe 10 to 19 Virgo, which would make it Virgo 2, which is the decan ruled by Venus. So interesting little twist there. Mercury, Mercury, Venus. Okay, okay, cool. So the Sephira or the Tree of Life or the, uh, where it is in the world, is Yasod and Asiya. And most pentacles are always, you know, related back to Asiya. Like earlier when I said the two of pentacles was in a uh, Chakma and Asiya. So, that is what I said, right? Yeah, okay. So, the nine of pentacles is my future card. And it is the Lord of Game. It's the end of a cycle. Nines are final stages, an opportunity to finish strong, places of power. The foundation of the Sephirah, the Tree of Life, is Yasod. And that is where there's creation, kind of, I think it's interesting how it relates back to the Two of Pentacles, but it's not the Two of Pentacles, and how it's the end of the cycle, not the beginning, but the foundation's involved where creation happens and the unconscious is, and sex, the imagination, and all these energies gather in Yasod and then bring them up into Asiya, which is when it becomes limitless potentials becoming a reality. This is the last push in, in the cycle. So in the future, when I start to see that last push, like where things are really culminating, maybe I get a job and I have to figure out how to balance this, you know, my, my entrepreneurship, with my responsibilities of a communications position. So um, limitless potential becomes reality, but also the end of that cycle and that final push all the way to get to the next cycle. So um, all in all, a pretty good reading. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna take a look really quick here at the other cards. And thank you for joining us. I'm Erin with Awanobe. Go click on that past, present, future and let me go deeper for you. If you want me to just keep it service level like I did, I can do that too. We'll communicate whatever fits your needs. But you will have a video and it will be fun. Remember, the fun is all in the cards. I'm Erin with Awan Obey. Thank you so much for joining me. Go ahead and go get that past, present, future reading. Now you know what it'll be like. We can communicate and customize to whatever need you have. Thank you again. I'm Erin with Awan Obey, and the fun is all in the cards.